Welcome to how to get a steering wheel off of a Fiat 500. As you can see, the airbag's blown on this one. In fact, that airbag's blown and that airbag's blown as well. So, the re my reason for taking this steering wheel off is to uh, change the dash, change all the airbags. Um, but this is uh, an easier way to get the steering wheel off when the airbag's blown because you can access the clips from the top rather than having to do it from underneath. So, to do it, Normally, I've lost my car keys now, there they are. If you're messing around with any electrics, especially airbags, make sure you, even though these airbags are blown, make sure you disconnect the earth lead of the battery. That's the first thing to do. Secondly, okay, to get the steering wheel off, as I say, it's easy for me because the bag's gone, so I'm just going to pull the bag out and I'm going to access the clips. But I'm going to show you where the clips are in relation to uh, the underneath of the steering wheel so hopefully the camera will get around there okay so underneath the steering wheel you have three um, holes which you can't get to until you take off that bottom cowling so to get that bottom cowling off there's a hole just there and there's a hole just there and inside that hole are well, inside each hole are two ordinary Phillips screws. Now you have to get the screwdriver at a particular angle to get to it. So I'm going to get that screwdriver at that angle and then I'm going to show you. So as you can see that screwdriver is in there now. It's not really at an angle. Uh, if you look at the hole, if I can get the camera through there, the hole, you would think the screwdriver had to be sort of that angle based because the hole is that angle. But the actual screw itself is at a straight angle. So the, the uh, or rather not at an angle, it's completely straight. So on both of these you have to get that screw driver. You have to feel around, it's really difficult to try and feel around, but you need to feel around to get make sure you're on the thread. I've sat here for an hour or more when I first started doing these, trying to get the screwdriver on, thinking it was after have to be at an angle. Do it gently, do it by feel. If you can't do it, you need to get down on your hands and knees, or rather get down on your back, lie on your back with a head torch and find uh, the end of the screw like that. But persevere this way because this is a much much easier way so you do take that screw out and then you go around and do exactly the same on that one there and then uh, we'll take that bottom cowling off and we'll go from okay there's the screw two of those screws just two little phillips screws and get it in focus not very well two little phillips screws once you've got those two screws out put that safe that then just pulls off it's clipped as you probably know it's clipped into the top piece like that using those clips so it's just a little bit of brute force being a little bit careful so you don't break anything and that will come off. Right, so put that to one side. So once you've got that off, as you can see, I need to put the key back in there. Excuse the camera work. Obviously ignition, uh, the ignition has to be on to turn the steering wheel, but of course the battery is disconnected. So the first one, if I can, I'm do, doing it a bit cack handed here. Just here, there's a hole. And the way to do it, I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with... Um, one hand. I've got no one to hold the camera. And I'm just trying to find my little tool that I made. Bear with me. Okay, so there's the screwdriver. The screwdriver was just a screwdriver. An old screwdriver just put in a vice and bent. If you try and use an ordinary screwdriver, the dash gets in the way, the steering column gets in the way, and you just, I've spent hours literally trying to get the damn clips undone on the steering wheel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the airbag, I'm going to get a knife and cut that off, and that allows you to see from the top. If I pull it to one side, you can see the clips. It's just easier to show you. But basically, there's a hole under here. Just here, there's a hole. Hopefully you can see that. And then there's one, another one at the so each side. So you've got the clips, three clips that hold it on. One clip one side, one clip the other, and then one at the bottom of the airbag module itself um, and then it just pulls off uh, so first of all I'm going to cut that off and then we'll come back and I can show you the clips. okay so cut that off that's obviously that was connected by that cut that off that's obviously no good that comes as part of the new airbag module anyway all the cloth down there from the bag so we're left with that okay now I can't do this with both hands but I need, I need to be able to show you the clip if you can see in there there's clips, like a clip, you can see that one that side. Now that clip has to be pushed to the left, I think it's the left, to uh, to release it. And then that 
black bit you can see in the middle there, I think it's in focus now, that's where it needs to be released from. So all it does is push out and then uh, it will release. So I'm going to try and do the bottom one if I can, using the bent screwdriver, using one hand. So if I move that out of the way, I'm going to do this from the top probably, because it's just easier. But again, you've got... Obviously, if you've got an in, if you're taking the steering wheel off and you've got an intact airbag, you can't do this. So there you go, that clip. So if I just bung a screwdriver in the top there, I can quite easily I can see what I'm doing for a start. But I'm going to give it a go under here. So again, you put the screwdriver, the bent screwdriver, in the hole. If I can find the hole, we're using one hand. Where's the hole? <laughs> I need someone to hold the camera. Really, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm sure this isn't very good camera work. Right, screwdriver's in there. Okay, so now we come to the top. So we're basically levering. And I can't actually remember which way it is, but we're levering until it pops up. This is a thing that you nearly need two hands to do. So I'm going to have to put the camera down and then we'll come back, I think. I don't think it's going to pop off doing it one-handed like but this. Rather than do the bottom one, I've always done the side ones first. I don't know... I couldn't get that bottom one off doing it conventionally from behind, so I don't know whether you need to do the side ones. As I say, I have always in the past, and this one came off quite easily, so I'm going to... So that one's now loose, so I'm going to just click it back on. Right, that's now back in, and I'm going to go back underneath. So what you, as I said, you have to turn the turn the wheel 45 degree, uh, 90 degrees, uh, and then find the hole. It took me two hands, because you have to put quite a bit of pressure on. Some, some are looser than others. Oh yeah, it's gone straight away. So you push from the outside of the wheel towards the inside of the wheel, and it's come off. Now you have to turn, again, one-handed, turn the wheel back, and then you'll see another hole there. And again, we get the screwdriver in, we put it in as far as it will go in the hole. You can sort of feel around, and then hopefully, one-handed, this will pop off. So you go from inside, uh, outside the wheel to inside, I think. <laughs> no, I can't do it one-handed. I think you get the gist of what I'm trying to do. It just won't go one-handed. You sort of, it's, it's easier if you can sort of pull, I suppose, at the wheel, at the airbag, and manipulate the spring at the same time. So I'm going to have to put the camera down. Let me try. Let's see what I can do. Without dropping the camera in my lap. Another trick that I forgot about is that sometimes when you're doing this, the one that you've already got out, i.e., that one, slots back in again. So, what I did forget, if you get some plastic um, trim removal tools, and once you've got one undone, shove one of those in, just stops it clicking back into place. So, I've got to do that one again now, but I'm going to go carry on doing this one. I say it's usually much easier than this, but trying to do it one-handed is not good. Doesn't want to come this one. And so sometimes they're looser than others. It takes a bit of jiggery pokery at times. So I'm going to put the camera down, switch the camera off for a minute while I do this one, and then we'll uh, do the other one again because the other one was quite okay, easy. Okay, that one came off again quite easy once I put the camera down. Now let me just get this straight. It's not from the outside of the wheel inwards, you lever from the inside of the wheel outwards. So I'm going to turn that round. I haven't got a, a tool to put in there in the car at the moment, so I'm just going to shove a little torque screwdriver in there, which will hopefully stop it from going back. So, you go into the hole. Again, I've turned the screwdriver around. So if you put it in sort of at an angle towards the centre of the wheel, you can see what I've done. And then you're levering outwards. So by levering outwards, if you get it, you have to make sure you get it in the right position. <laughs> as soon as I put the camera down, it will it will go. I don't know why it's not when I'm doing it one-handed. you just sort of got to get the screwdriver in the correct place. I'm making life hard for myself here, because I could just do it from the top with this airbag, but I'm trying to show you how to do it. So you go from the inside outwards. No, it's not going to have it. Let me try putting the camera down. So if you can still see that. Okay. There you go, like that. My Torx tool fell out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a couple of, go back in the garage, get a couple of plastic um, trim removing tools, 
and poke those over either side before I turn it around and do the bottom one. Okay, so you've got trim removal tool either side. Now we fight with the wheel to get the wheel back straight again. Let's see if I can so do this one now with one hand. So as I said, I did this one before, but it just popped back in when I was trying to do side one. So, again, in the hole, if I can find it. So you normally need your, your fingers to guide it in. Because I'm holding the camera, I can't do that. So you sort of go inwards at a bit of an angle. Find the right place. And there you go, it's popped off. You can now remove those. And the thing just lifts off, just like that. And then underneath, you've got your um, power wire there. I think that's that's the wire for the illumination on the steering wheel controls, I believe, and probably the horn as well. Yeah, and the horn. And then you've got uh, the two airbag wires on there. So it's a dual-stage airbag, which it is on most cars. Although I believe some of the later cars have gone back to... I think some of the earlier cars were single-stage, so you have one plug. Uh, and then they went to dual stage, and so I've led to believe, I think, the newer models have gone back to single stage for some bizarre reason. But um, I always thought dual stage was probably better. Maybe not. What do I know? Anyway, so that's it. So you, uh, obviously, you take those uh, electrical connections out, and uh, then you're done. So as you can see, there's the clips there. The clips that hold it onto the steering wheel, and that's the clip where it holds it on, on the actual wheel itself. So quite easy when you know how, even one-handed, but you do need two hands. As I say, you know, I could have done this quite easily from the top, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. So obviously once you take those wires off, this whole piece, if it's a blown airbag, is uh, got rid of. And that whole bit, including the, uh, the front Fiat badge, um, comes as one part and just replaces it quite easily. When you do put them on, what you do need to worry about, if you, if you have actually taken the wires off, what you need to be careful of, um, is make sure these wires don't get in the way because when you put it back on with a good airbag literally all you do is you place it into position and push it and it just clips straight back in if those wires are in the way you, as soon as you reconnect the power your horn's going to go off I've done that three or four times and it's really annoying so just make sure you get you don't get the uh, wires failing the, uh, the horn activation springs which are I believe yeah it's those See these here, you've got the little electrical, a little copper connection. I'm trying to get it in focus, this camera's not very good. You've got the little copper things on the spring there. So when you push the uh, centre of the airbag, that activates the horn. So it's quite easy to uh, get those in the way. Anyway, that's it. The easy or not so easy way of removing a Fiat 500 airbag.